All right, so I'm here with Sweet T. Sweet T, how old are you? 21. Are you originally from Arizona? Yeah. What part of AZ? Well, I was born in Mesa, but I've kind of always been in Phoenix. And what's your current situation right now? Are you homeless? Technically. How long have you been homeless for? Um, like two years. Two years. And how did you end up homeless? Um, my ex-boyfriend uh, <laughs> up north tried to kill me, so I had to move away. So you were living with him? You, you went through some domestic violence or something like that? Yeah. And so I moved down here. Do you have family out here in Phoenix? No. What do you do out here to survive? Depends on the day, honestly. You ever panhandled? Yeah. Do you boost? <laughs> no, my next shoplifting charge is fucking organized retail theft, so no. What about doing dates? Yeah. How dangerous is it out here doing that type of stuff? <laughs> Pretty dangerous. Have you ever been through some, any dangers personally? Yeah. Like what kind of stuff have you been through? I've had this cheekbone broken, been pistol whipped, like, had all my shit stolen, you know? I'm sorry to hear that. Did your cheek just happen recently? How long ago was that? A couple weeks. A couple weeks ago? How did that happen? Fucking some dude, you know, did a date, paid me, fucking said that he didn't want to pay me, fucking hit me, took the money back and bounced. I'm sorry. Did you report that to the police or not? Why didn't you make a police report? <laughs> like, what am I supposed to tell them? Like. You can just tell them that you got robbed. It just causes more problems. I got warrants anyway. You got warrants? What, what are your warrants for? Failure to appear. Um, theft to means of transportation. Shoplifting. All, all sorts of shit. Do you have any family out here? You said you, said you didn't have anybody, right? Um... Where's your folks? Do you have any siblings? Um, all I really got is my mom. And she lives up north, like four or five hours away. Well, and she's got my two kids. Okay. And do you keep in contact with your mom? Whenever I do have a phone, yeah. What does she tell you? Does she know about your situation? Yeah. Does she ask you to come home? No. <laughs> Why is that? It's complicated. Were you up there getting in trouble before too? No. Like I grew up down here and moved away up there, you know, like to get away from all this shit. And I did for a couple years, but How was your childhood? Did you grow up with both parents? No, my, my dad committed suicide when I was a toddler. Sorry. It is what it is. Do you want to go back home? Well, yeah. Can you go back home if you wanted to? No. Why is that? Like I said, it's complicated. Like, my mom has a restraining order, even though she's living in my house that I own, so. Are you out here doing substances? What do you yeah. mess with the blues? Yeah. How long have you been messing with those? About two years. Two years? Around the same time you went homeless? Yeah. How did you get introduced to that? 
Um, same ex-boyfriend that, you know, caused me to move down here, introduced me to him. And where's that boyfriend at now? I don't know. Last time I heard he was in prison, so. That's good. Is that also your baby's daddy? No. It's their stepdad, though, but the baby dad isn't in, in the picture, never has been. If we have any younger viewers watching this interview and they're thinking about trying substances or running the streets, what kind of advice would you give them? Stay home, go to school, like, sounds stupid, but I wish I had. What do you think somebody could have told you when you were a youngster that would have changed your mind about trying substances or running the streets? Honestly, growing up, you couldn't tell me anything that would change my mind, you know? You kind of just have to go through it to learn sometimes. Yeah. Were you like a rebellious teenager? Not at first, but I just got in with the wrong crowd, you know? Yeah. Kind of got caught up in it. Was the crowd like in school or was it in, on the streets? Well, it started in school and kind of spilled out into the streets, you know? Did you get to graduate high school and all that? I didn't even go to high school. You didn't? What, what was the furthest you got up to? What, what I, grade did you get up to? I did like three weeks in ninth grade. Okay. Where do you see yourself in six months? Honestly, I, I hope, you know, this isn't true, but probably just same, you know, same shit, different day. Yeah. Do you want to get out of your situation? Well, yeah. Do you have a game plan? Every time I do, something gets in the way. Well, you're really young, man. You're, what, you're only 21, right? You're young and you can still change it around. There's plenty of time for you. You still have a whole life ahead of you. All right, well, Sweet Tea, thank you for sharing your story. I really do appreciate it. Are you okay with me using this on my YouTube channel? Yeah. And just in case... Some of my subscribers want to reach out to you with any sort of help or donations. Do you have any social media or any email that you want to share? Mm, not, not really. Um, I, I can give it to you to link it to it or something. And just in case one of your loved ones stumbles on this interview and they watch it, do you... Do you have anything you want to say to them? No words? No. Alright, thank you, Sweet Tea. Appreciate it.